What's up guys, it's your boy DJ Avionics, back with another tutorial. Let's hear a quick word from our sponsor DB Line, who makes these awesome fresh waveform t-shirts. This video is sponsored by DB Line. DB Line is a clothing and merchandise line for the DJ, for musicians, for music lovers, for photographers, for videographers, for content creators like a lot of you are, and for gamers. Visit dbline at dbline.equid.com. You can also find dbline on Instagram at dbline merch. Also on Facebook at dbline merchandise. Hopefully this video is gonna help a lot of you guys out there wondering why is everything not synced up? Why is everything not synced up in OBS Studio uh, as far as live DJ streaming setups? In this prime example, my live DJ streaming setup consists of DJing on my 2018 MacBook Pro and sending the mix emergency video output to my 2015 iMac through NDI Ethernet connection and then the 2015 iMac is actually doing all the streaming. I have my mixer audio going through a Behringer portable USB audio interface that connects from the mixer to my iMac. I also have a Logitech C922 webcam filming me head on and then I also have my GoPro Hero 7 Black as my top-down perspective so that means I have my Logitech webcam plugged into the iMac the GoPro is connected to a capture card the one I'm using is the Elgato HD 60s which is then also connected to the iMac the USB audio interface is also plugged into the iMac and then your mix emergency video output connected to the iMac via ethernet cable. So that's four sources. So when I first hooked this all up, I noticed the GoPro has a delay. Our GoPro is actually going to be our baseline reference. We're gonna match everything up to the GoPro. Mix emergency also has a delay. So what you're going to want to do first is fix the mix emergency delay by going into your DJ laptop, go to mix emergency preferences, and then you go to the advanced settings tab and you want to move the delay compensation slider to plus 0.23, which is basically almost, um, you want to make it faster um, by a quarter of a second. Okay, so that fixes your mix emergency video output on your streaming iMac or streaming second computer. Next, we're going to adjust the delay for your, my, or in my case, my Logitech webcam. We want to match it up to the GoPro. So you basically want to, after you've created your source for the Logitech camera or whatever camera you're using, you right click on it and then you click on uh, filters. From here, you want to click the plus sign and you want to add the video sync filter. Now the magic number here is 460 milliseconds. Okay, so once you've done that, now we want to adjust our audio. So after you've created your audio capture in, you want to click on the sprocket wheel, click on advanced properties, and then here you can see where you enter your delay. We're going to use that same magic number 460 milliseconds. Okay, so quickly, let's go over everything that we've adjusted. Mix emergency is at plus 0.23 on the delay compensation slider. Your, um, your front camera, in my case, my Logitech, that is a video sync filter of 460 milliseconds. And your USB audio interface, audio capture in, has a 460 millisecond delay as well while my GoPro is still at our baseline reference. All right, now that everything is all synced up, you are now ready to go live. If my video tutorial helped you at all, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Leave any comments or questions down below, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future uploads. All right guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you next time.